We put a lot of effort into making it easy to use for first time users and experienced users alike. It just, just works. And we kind of really wanted to make it feel like it just works for everyone. So people prefer using the air push interaction because as we found in user research, there's quite a lot of different ways that people might come up and uh, approach a screen. And we've put a lot of effort into making sure that we can reliably and robustly detect a wide variety of, of these um, pushes and ways of approaching. The method we uh, ended up settling on is by actually modeling the the system as, as if your hand is attached to the screen via a spring, so that when you press forward, you can press the spring and this applies some force to the screen. And we use this applied force to determine what to do, whether to uh, trigger clicks. And the kind of magic, the kind of key part of the algorithm is that the properties of the spring can change depending on how the user approaches it. If you want to go up and do a short, sharp jab, we'll register that. If you're a user who wants to do a more cautious, slow approach, then as you slowly move your hand forward, we use the kind of applied force on the screen to display a ring which slowly decreases as you move your hand forward. So there's no pressure on the user to be super precise when they're performing the, the pushing motion. There's quite a lot of smoothing and stabilization going on behind the scenes to make sure that the user always feels in control and that the interaction feels natural to them.